hope you liked that intro. I worked on it um, all of today to try to get it perfect for you guys. I know I said I was not going to do a vlog, but I am going to do a video that I just thought of a little while ago. So, as you guys know, I love to travel, or hopefully you know, I love to travel. And over the years, I've gotten to go a few places, which is awesome. Obviously. Anyways, the point is, I want to show you one of the places and some um, things that I got when I went there of places that I've gone. So, the first place that I have gone, the most recent place that I went, was Ocean City. I went to Ocean City because I went to Winterfest. It is at a convention center held right in the middle of Ocean City. Um, I didn't go with my family. I went with my church um, youth group. So that was super fun. It was a concert. There was like Toby, uh, not Toby Mac. There was comedian preachers, which was so fun. We stayed there till like 12 to one in the morning from eight to like 12 in the, in the morning. So, oh my goodness, it was crazy. And, um, if you're wondering why I'm saying morning, 12 a.m., that's what they say. I, I say p.m. Anyways, one of the things that you got at the church, no, 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 at, yes, at the church, was this wristband. It says, www.mywinterfest.com, Lee Day, April 6th through 7th, 2018. Probably can't really see. Anyways, I had to wear this the whole entire time. And one time I actually ended up losing my wristband. And I actually lost one of the things that I got there. I literally got this huge hoodie and I lost it. It costed a lot of money too. It was like 25 bucks. Um, I took like $200 so that I could um, be able to get food. You had to get like your own food um, while you were there. And then they paid for like half of the meals. This one night, the last night that we were there. We had, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings, um, and we drove in this big van, um, they used to, when my brother and sister went, they used to have the buses, like the tour buses, with the bathroom in the back, in the back, and, like, uh, little TVs on the back of the chairs and stuff like that, um, which me and my mom and my sister actually went well, I'll get on to that, sorry. Um, but we were getting Buffalo Wild Wings, and I still had money left over. I was like, okay, so can I, is it okay if I get my meal, if I get a separate meal than wings? Because I'm not good with grease at all. I don't really like grease. Um, I love pizza, but sometimes I'm just like, I can't have grease today. Because it just really you know, it makes me bloated and it really hurts. Um, so even though if you drink a lot of water, you're still going to have like gas and stuff. So, and excuse my hair. My hair has been like that all day. It's been like making little teeny baby edges. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I basically ate wings. I got in the van. We were actually, we went to the hotel room um, each of us had a hotel room with a bathroom, two beds, a TV, a balcony, and in the bathroom there was a shower and a toilet and a sink, and then there was, like, um, a foyer and stuff outside. So, I put my wings in the little mini fridge, put all my food in the mini fridge, um, I... 
I really had a fun time eating down there because there were so many cool foods that I hadn't eaten before and I really really like to do that. I'm hoping to go this year and if I do go I might bring my phone. Maybe. We'll see. Probably not. But I think you can film while you're there. Like you can take your phone. So yeah. Anyways um that is kind of what happened but the next day we were leaving. We went to the Sunday service. It was on a Sunday. It was NFL. It was the Super Bowl, actually, which was horrible because my mom ended up missing most of the Super Bowl. But anyways, we did the Sunday service. We went ahead and... Uh, we went ahead and did um we went and, and did the sunday service and as soon as the sunday service was over we left at about four because we actually stayed after because there was like a party so it had like bouncies and stuff but we basically stayed after and then we went home we went to get on the bus uh, and we drove for about three and a half hours and we actually ended up switching the people that were driving. There were two vans, one for girls, one for boys, but, uh, yeah. And we were driving with Miss Melissa, which was one of our youth pastors. They're gone now. Um, they went to a different church, um. But we ended up having Miss Melissa get pulled over by a cop. And um, and then after that, she, she got sick, actually. I don't know what it was from. She might have been so nervous that she just threw up. But she started to have to pull over like every five minutes and throw up. So her husband... Um, came and took over the van she sat beside but she just kept like the whole entire time would just go out and throw up and it was disgusting and all of us of course were crammed in a van that was literally so small it was so small so we were just crammed in this van for five hours and we actually got there later than we were supposed to get there we were supposed to get there at like 8 30 may i remind you the night before we had wings, and I do not do good eating out with other people if I'm not going to be going home after. I don't do good like that. Even one time I was out with one of my grandma's friends, um, I was doing a shoebox for donation thing for Christmas, so I was putting stuff in shoeboxes. Um, I literally felt like I was having a heart attack or something, like I was eating ice cream and tuna fish and I literally got sick I had to go home because I was sick I literally threw up when I when I got home it was horrible I hated it so I don't do good eating with other people if it's not my family and it's not people I know very well and at the time I did not know the people that were doing all this and it was a whole entire like three days that I was gone so it was kind of intense and I was I was fine the whole entire time until I had greasy food. It makes me anxious. It's not it's not good for your body to have greasy food. So basically, I ended up going home. My mom did miss some of the Super Bowl. She was kind of mad about that. But anyways, I ended up going home at like one o'clock in the morning. I was really loud and I threw up right by my door. There's literally still a stain somewhere like right by my door you can see my rugs all scruffed up but yeah that was a horrible night number story one now there's only gonna be two stories because I don't want this to be too long so story two I forgot for a second let's admire this is the Winterfest bag that I got And I use it to go to the library and other stuff. And then oh. 
That was not a good idea. Anyways, meh. Okay, so the second story is being surprised with a trip to Disney World for a whole week. Now, as a child, I'm 13, and I'm still a child. I just got my period, by the way, today. Anyways, as a child, we literally had 25 VCRs of Disney movies. We would get new Disney movies, like, every single time they came out. We would go to the movie theater for tons of movies, so we always saw the newest Disney movies, newest movies. So, me and my sister were, like, downstairs. All of our family literally was always downstairs. Other than my mom and my dad, they would stay upstairs. But... All the rooms, all the important rooms were downstairs. Me and my sister's room were was upstairs for the most part. Um, and that was, this was at my other house. When I was eight. Um, uh, but anyways, we weren't at this house. This house only has one floor on, it has two houses that are attached. You saw in the intro. So basically anyways and let me know if you like the intro um anyways let me get back to the story i'm getting off track so i was always in love with disney i always loved disney i i think i had like one disney character thing which was um my what's his name eeyore i had an eeyore um, stuffed animal, which actually my brother made it into a puppet, so thanks. He also makes, made my stuffed moose into a, pu a puppet. But anyways, the point is, all of my siblings and I were downstairs. We liked to play with makeup from my sister. I will do a short story on that. Anyways, I still, I have six minutes left. I better get done. Anyways, oh my goodness. This is horrible. So... All of our, all of the family, my siblings and I were downstairs. We got called upstairs. My dad said, I have a surprise for you. Close your eyes or something like that. And then he pulled up this tab on the computer and he said, okay, look. And then the, there was like, you're going to Disney for a week. Congratulations. And, and he said, me and mom have been planning this for like a whole entire two years. You guys, um, it was like $8,000. It was crazy. Um. Uh, but they'd been saving money. They were so nice about it. And basically, we got on a plane, went to Florida. We went to Walt Disney World. Um, not... What's the other one? I don't even remember what the other one was. Anyways, uh, um, Walt Disney World, we went there and ugh, we took the, the ferry to get across like the lake thing the border thing lake and you enter in at magic kingdoms where cinderella's castle is we basically were there for the whole entire week it was amazing we had so many different kinds of foods there were all these different restaurants all around my favorite was probably this one you sat it looked like an old bank it had like tons of things wrapped around kind of like Star Wars in the court in Star Wars all those little like things against the walls that you could go up a stairway and like look down around like they have in malls and stuff like that it's for different stories an escalator and then that whole wrap around and then there's like an opening where you can look down anyways they had that and they had restrooms on one side, and then they had all of the tables just lined on both sides, and down down below, too. So, we were on the first one of those. There were, like, two of them, so you could, like, go on to higher ones. It literally looked so amazing outside of it. And there was a ferry right outside. My dad all had always wanted to go on the ferry when we were there and we literally never did the whole entire week that we were there so that was really disappointing we went on so many rides we had so much fun it was amazing if you guys want me to do a more in-depth story of that i will but first i need to show you what i got when i was there 
Be right back. So I'm back. I was obsessed with stuffed animals. So we were on this spaceship ride for Toy Story with all the little aliens. And then you went in a spaceship. You spun around on top of the gift shop, which was really crazy because it was so high up. It was so scary up there. Oh my goodness. I was only eight. I was like, Ugh. and if anyone ever like gave me, my, me and my family five tickets or like seven tickets so we could take even some of my brother-in-law and everything like that, that would be amazing. Please do that if you can, if you have enough money. You probably don't. Not to be rude. Anyways, I got bullseye from Tor Story. I love horses and I had just had to move after that and before I was doing horse lessons. So that's why I picked this. I remember we did this. I remember we did this thing where we where we um saw this car show. It was like amazing and then we saw the magic performance, Magical Kingdom performance. Anyways, this is Bullseye. Woo! If you guys want to see the tag, here it is. Right there. It says Disney Parks. Right there, so he's got a little cacti right there. And then the next thing that I got, we were in the Muppets shop. It was like next to a ton of bakeries, which, oh my goodness, if you guys have never had Disney food, go to Disney. Go get some Disney food. It is absolutely way better than any other food. And they actually have little scent, little scent boxes that actually fume out smells of delicious baked bread and food so that you'll actually come into their shops it's not actually from their shops might some of it might be anyways i got this piggy bank star wars piggy bank we went on a star wars ride and i was actually the main specter of it if you want me to do a story time on that i will but i'm not going to today because i have to edit this and then duplicate it on my phone so i won't have enough storage <laughs> Basically, I was the person that was on the screen. If you guys have ever gone on the ride that I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure there's only like one Star Wars ride. But it's the one where you get on the ship and then you like meet space gorillas and stuff like that. And um, I was the person that they were looking for, which was crazy because it was my first time on there. Anyways, Star Wars Big Bang, Princess Leia. Luke Skywalker, oh my goodness, but Mickey and Minnie, um, blue light shaver, did I bite this, oh my goodness, there's bite marks on it, what, look at that, and then it just, like that, and there's that, and then, I actually signed my name, right there, I did get an autograph from Goofy while I was there, but I gave it to my sister Courtney. I don't even know why. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. That's gross. Don't touch my stuff, and you will never find out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this will be a good video for my channel, and if not, let me know what other videos I should do. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or subscribe to my channel to share this video to all your friends and to stay safe and tell me in the comments or log a video or whatever of an experience or a trip that you've gone on, vacation that you've gone on. Let me know how it went. I've got a lot more stories and I'll do more story times, but till I see you next time, peace. Enjoy the outro. That took way too long. <laughs>